All right, today on Tux Tech TV, I'm using a uh, OCZ SSD as my main drive on this computer, and I'm actually going to show you guys how to install this software so that uh, you could examine your drive and do later updates on the uh, firmware if need be today on Tux Tech TV. First things first is um, open your browser of choice. Go to the OCZ website. Uh, click on support and download updates. And a window similar to this should pop up. Go here and you choose the version of um, SSD that you actually have. Like I said, I have an old Vertex Tree. Why well, keep saying tree? <laughs> Three driver <laughs> or drive anyway and um, you download from here what I found to be unusual though is uh, if you're actually using a, a Mac PC or a Mac device it's a 125 megabyte download in comparisons to that of uh, Linux or even the Windows download is a 5.3 megabyte or 11.8 megabyte file why is it so huge for the Apple devices? Anyway, after you go here, you click on this arrow right here to download the software program. And it should, I'll minimize, it should actually pop up in your downloads folder. You go to your home folder and then click on downloads or, yeah go to your home folder click on downloads then you right click on the um, on the file and extract it <clears throat> and then after you extract it it's actually going to show in a folder like this one and after you have done that and done the extraction what I had to do I had to use Nemo to actually rescue this tutorial like I had to with the um, whatchamacallit, the, the Haven benchmark file, how I had to use Nemo to actually run the program as uh, administrator or when I actually open a file, I, re I pretty much right click. Sorry. Let me show you. I right click on it and open as root. When you new, use Nautilus, the only selection it gives you is to open in terminal. You open it in terminal and um, the only options that pop up is the um, a folder with a 32-bit or a 64-bit file to run and then when you run it, this window will open up but it will be blank. You wouldn't have this option. It wouldn't even show you what drive it is. It'll just be a blank square here and nothing. So you actually have to open it as either administrator or you run it <clears throat> like I showed you here as root. Okay? And this is the Nautilus, I mean, I uh, digress. This is the Nemo file manager. Now you have to run this with the Nemo file manager in order to get the options in your tools to work. So you click on, well, you highlight, then you click on tools, and up right here, you could do a manual trim or you could choose to update your firmware, which I have did. I've done, cause I was still using the original firmware. I think it was one point 
no 2.15 was the oldest the the most recent update that I have that I had on this um, SSD right now you can see the firmware is updated to 2.25 and what I've noticed is that it seems to have um, I don't know things are just running a little bit smoother and a little bit faster my boot speed because I guess it was an old drive or is an old drive my boot speeds would be in the 22 to 23 second range after doing the firmware update my computer again is booting in nine seconds although the SSD is almost full to capacity I only have when you right click on your home folder and you go to properties it actually shows how much free space you have I have only 38.4 gigs left out of 120 on this SSD and it, it it's it's running Spartan again it's opening stuff up quickly um, let me see what can I do as an option um, now this is actually yeah let me go ahead and open up Steam Steam has to do its normal updates and stuff like that but um oh guess that's not gonna happen that sucks uh, let me get something else to open up here let's run this software update program you see how quickly that open up it's just stuff like that man it's it just seems to be more responsive I'm, I'm I don't know look how quickly that opened up the antivirus program it just seems to be faster to me I don't know if I'm you know wishing that it is or what but the browser open oh yeah this is opera I was playing around with opera just to see how you know how well it works under gnome or gnome and things are just opening a lot faster minus a couple bugs it seems like steam is having an issue on the gnome again but other than that that's no big deal I could always go back and fix that but I have a few things running in the background so my memory is 20% of my memory I have 16 gigs total and uh, 3.2 is being used right now but I'm um, doing some experimentations and stuff on my system so that's why it's using that much memory on my CPU seems to be running at maybe about 25-30% right now this is the gauge of the percentages here on the side and it looks like it's maybe about 30-35% but yeah, <clears throat> that is pretty much it. And just remember, you got to use Nemo even under the uh, Ubuntu with Unity or Ubuntu, again, however you want to pronounce it. With Unity, same thing. Run it with Nemo. Extract it. Open as root it doesn't give you that option and for me to prove it let me just pull this in from my secondary window here and right here you will see that yeah this is the files that I'm actually recording and stuff right here before I upload the video but yeah <laughs> here is the options that you have under Nautilus which is not it's it's not it's just not options that 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 are very useful and you you have to jump through hoops to get certain things done and it's kind of sad that this is the default this is actually the uh, default that they use for Ubuntu GNOME and Unity is Nautilus for the uh, file manager and it's upsetting to me it's not very it's not very good I don't like it at all but I keep it just for the sake of showing you guys who watch my videos 
the difference between the uh, file managers why we have so many file managers eh, some are actually more you know use a little bit more memory than others and um, Nemo is just another option that you could download and it runs fine and um, what I like about Nemo that Nautilus doesn't offer look at this where my files are it has you know the, the, the levels here or the gauge that actually shows you how much free space well it does that too to a certain degree under no it doesn't I digress but it shows you here in, in um, Nemo how much drive space you have left I don't have that you know I, I, I like to it's it, it, it just makes it easier for you I don't have to click on certain options to open a certain window or even right click and then go to properties and then wait for this to open it open quickly but yet still you see it's showing the same thing here where is it it's showing the same thing if I go to boom 234.4 234.4 so I mean why go through all the hassle here I have to right click and then open right click select and then open when as soon as I click on the file folder it immediately shows me what's going on and how much I actually have there these are movies I'm actually trying out on my Plex server before I go ahead and do a you know I'm setting up a little media server with a Pentium 4 processor hyper threading um, it has a decent NVIDIA graphics card that maybe I'll do a quick video on that but yeah I mean I, I I'm sorry I'm rambling on as much as I am but you know it's just to show you you know it's it, it's exposing a little bit of the uh, segmentation issues that's a problem in Linux but at the same time I'm not complaining it's it's an option it's it just gives you other options what if the file manager in Windows totally crashes? And yes, it's a crap system because you have to defrag, you have to do a whole bunch of chores to have a satisfactory system under Windows. But here in Linux, even with multiple file option, file browser options, neither one of them fragment or destroy your drive or give you the added chores to run through and fix it's 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 just our other options I like it I, I like it but I don't like it but um again I'm not complaining it's just to show you guys that you know these options give you the opportunity to utilize utilities like this this is basically a utility for the uh, OCC um, hard drives the SSDs basically you could use this on a myriad of devices from OCZ. It actually has a, a list here of all the all the drives that you could use under Linux. Every last one of these drives from OCZ, you could use with the exact same program. This utility that I'm using here to up, update your firmware, um, do a manual trim, you know, stuff like that. And I was kind of I don't know um, I, I just wanted to be safe before I you know did this general tutorial and actually updated my firmware I wanted to do it on film but I wanted to see if it worked before I even attempted or you know it just to see if it would be a waste of my time but um yeah when I when you update this you know you just click on yes I mean it was already updated but I'm just going to run it through so that you can see and it was updated you know successfully and that's all that happens it's it's a smooth prop uh procedure um and my computer didn't even hiccup it didn't you know it's 
it's running fine I did this prior to doing the recording and everything was running fine so yeah um, that's how you get that done um, that's how you actually get this to work too um, the smart data software here I didn't actually go through yet but it basically shows you a list of you know file folders and stuff like that and what's on the drive what's good what's bad if you have fragmentation which yes I have I mean not fragmentation but a uh, bad sector I digress again bad sectors this drive I am actually doing these tests on before I actually send it in because I spoke to a representative on the phone about this drive having a couple of bad sectors and it's a couple of months out of warranty but they're still gonna honor it and I find that to be phenomenal so because OCZ has been that kind to me from here on out I will be purchasing their products yes I will I'll be upgrading to maybe a 256 gigabyte drive and once I get this one back I will be putting this in my laptop and I will actually do a test on that it's a 10 year old laptop well it's gonna be 10 years old next year in October I believe no in July next year it will actually be 10 years old I purchased it before when I was actually going to college and I still have it and it's still functional so I want to check out the performance on it with this SSD and I will give you guys a heads up but anyway that has been a long talk about this little blue window <laughs> but as you can see this is a uh, functional it's a very functional um, product here that, sh that attaches to your SSD and um, I'm liking it I'm digging it as you can see I can set it up in a proxy server and all that stuff but I'm not gonna be doing all that yep I'm not gonna be doing all that so so that you guys can see that this is <clears throat> you could actually get a UI or a user interface for your products that you purchase under Linux I've already proved it with the keyboard prior to this video so yeah stop talking that trash about oh terminal 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 I try my best to not use the terminal in my videos but if I have to I have to and um, I hope you guys like it I apologize for the long rant thank you subscribe and good night